Today is、uh, 2020, May 26, and my name is Ben. And welcome to our channel. Today we are going to continue to discuss、uh, a series of、uh, thriller. We call it terminal thrillers. Terminal thrillers is usually to do the jobs in the container terminal, like this one you are seeing is. We call it yacht chassis. Usually working for the Container yard to transport containers from the vessel to the stocking yard, and this one is the roll on roll off trailer. We call it the roll trailer, and here the drawing, and also something like this. We call it spare spreader trailer to carry the spreader from the cake frame to the maintenance shop to do the maintenance. Here the drawing. And today we are going to see the series of、uh, those type of、uh, product one by one, and for you to understand、uh, what our capability to produce、uh, those kind of uh, uh, semi trailers, and also to show you the idea how、uh, what type of、uh, trailer we could produce. First,、uh, we are going to see the bomb card. We also call it a terminal trailer. It、uh, looks like this. The bomb card is a special container chassis designed to maximize the productivity of the terminal operation, and it's designed to carry a 20 foot, 40 foot, and 45 foot containers within the terminal. And here the four pictures we have produced for different kind of client. Now here is the basic structure for. The bomb card, or we call it container chassis. It's with side guard and the stop foot stopper and 20 foot stopper to stop the container, and side rear, front guide, the solid tire, and the rear guide indicator. The indicator is to show the weight of the trailer for the left and the right and the front and the back drivers. And the white color side guard is to for the top operator, the K crane operator, to see where the exactly position of this trailer would be, so they could operate the container to load onto the trailer. This is how it looks like when the container loading to distribute on those、uh, containers on those chassis. You can see this one is a 45 foot ISO. It's 45 foot landed on the chassis, and this one is 40 foot landed on the chassis. This is how we load two 20 foot containers on the chassis. This is some details of our design.、Uh, this is a stopper to show how it stops the containers, and this is how it looks from the rear side, and it protecting. Containers to drop off from the rear, and this one is to show how it looks like from the top. And this is indicator, and this is the reflector and the container blocks for the containers. The reflector is also for the key crane drivers to see it. This is how it looks from the side of the container stopper, and this is how it goes to the bottom when the container landed on the trailer. So you can only see a、uh, very little, and it won't hurt、uh, and damage the container. It will drop off. Those are the others, and、uh, those things we are、uh, believing it would damage the container if we use this type of design. But this one does not. The pictures would give you a better look. So the we have、uh, been producing the. Container yacht chassis for a while, and、uh, many container terminals is using the old type and old function, such like this one and this one, and that's why we are making this video to show the new features of the trailer and how it would、uh, make the productivity for the container operations. This is、uh, the pictures、uh, what we have、uh, builded for the other client. Uh, later we can have a、uh, one 
special uh, episode, special video to explain how the container terminal trailers is going to operate and how our new features is going to help to make sure they have uh, better productivity. And now we are going to move on for the next product, double stack trailer. Double stack trailer is a special trailer designed to double stack the containers within the terminal. And we do that uh, for basically Singapore, Korean, Japan, because they have a limited land. So they need to have uh, special equipment to do the operations. So from the picture, you can see it is uh, built to do the two stacking container loading. And here is the drawing. You can see easily it can carry two 20 foot at the bottom, one 40 foot on top. And you can also see the two 20 foot, two 40 foot, and two 45 foot in the trailer. The next product we are going to see is our uh, chemical protecting container trailer. And that is uh, to in case you have uh, some leakage in the container terminal. And when it uh, goes off, you need some something to hold it. So if you have a, one of this trailer, you can just load the container on top of it. Then the chemicals would go into the pan and you can handle it later. But we can have another episode or video to explain this type of uh, trailer especially later. And also we have a, a twin trailer we call it. Multi, multi uh, trailer system. From the picture and the drawing, you can see there are two trailers are linked uh, together by a small dolly. The key point is to try to make sure it won't uh, it won't uh, have uh, some uh, problem when it's uh, doing the turning. So when you are turning the trailers, the front uh, trailer's axle and the dolly and the rear trailer axle need to go into the same circle. Otherwise, you are going to face a huge problem because when you are linking the two units, of the trailer together. Your driver is very hard to do the reverse. When you are reversing the trailer, it's going to be very complicated in the driver's mind. So that's why it's important to keep the same turning circle for all the trailers. This is uh, how it uh, looks like when it's hooked up to the rear. But this one is one axle. This one is uh, one axle two. So this is how hooked uh, up to the rear trailer, and this is together. We call it. Uh, you cannot separate the dolly from the rear trailer because it's merged together. We didn't. We want to use the fifth wheel to do the connection. We will use the turning table to do the connection. This one is we are use, we are using the fifth wheel. You can see from here. And uh, here is the multi trailer system turning. This picture has been taken at uh, Ningbo terminal. We link the three of those type of the trailer together, and then they can turn it very easily in this uh, short area. You can see. Those kind of uh, system is uh, different uh, from uh, each terminals, so we need to spend a lot of time to discuss with our client, discuss uh, how they are going to use it and how should we design for them. Like this one, this one is what we have built for Rutherden. Rutherden terminal, uh, they requires those type of uh, five trailer linked together to carry the containers from the vessel to their to their uh, train station. At the rear you can see the train station, the rails from here. So they do a lot of uh, container transportation one time. 
those are the couplers we are choosing. Something like uh, the American type and the Europe type. That's uh, the details I was talking about. We need to discuss uh, all the details and to make sure the trailer goes to your terminal and works well. And if you look closely, you can see the air connection at the rear. It uh, gives uh, the braking uh, capacity from the front trailer to the rear trailer. Also, we have uh, a rule on rule off trailer, uh, such like this. This is uh, to carry the very big product or containers or some uh, food bags in different terminal to do the operation. And then we have two types. One is with good snack. Another one is without good snack. We don't have a good snack uh, uh, for the trailer. The blue one is what we have built for Korean, PNIT and the BNCT. The two terminals we bought uh, those type of trailer from us. And the red one and the yellow one is what we have built for the Russian and the Europe. The yellow one is for the Russian and the red one for the Europe. And we also built the, some, something like the four trailer for the Portuguese island. We ship them to the island and use solid tire. Same idea. This is uh, the special requirement and we designed for them. Also, we have some uh, other special purpose equipment, such like this. If uh, they want to, if any terminal or the container yard, they want to buy the higher reach uh, safety cage, we can also uh, produce it for them. And also something like this, like a container carriers, whatever we have built it for the, a small island, because they don't have a 40 foot container that goes to their terminal and they have no limited, they have no requirement for the bomb car. So they, we use the superstructure and also use a base for the forklift to carry it, to build this uh, equipment for them. They can carry the containers very easily. Special uh, project example. This one is a cassette carrier. We are building those cassette because it's very easy, not the cassette trailer, but the cassette itself. Those cassette system is in different terminals to carry the two stack of the containers from the vessel to the container yard. It's a different uh, design you can see. This is the cassette trailer we are talking about. We haven't uh, developed the one from uh, the History. But we have a confidence to build one if uh, needed. Here is just to show you how it looks like to work with the cassette. Or something like this. This is a reefer stocking mobile service stand. So with this, you can do the operation very easily to do the reefer uh, maintenance and checking. I'm sure the terminal operation uh, manager would understand what I'm talking about. Also, we have uh, those type of uh, special tools that we have built for different uh, terminals, most of them in the island. Here is also one of the, one of the pictures you can see. This is uh, what we call a spreader trailer. In the middle, the maintenance mechanic could go into the middle and do the maintenance there. And after the maintenance, they can also do the testing and the spreading and the checking without moving this uh, spreader from the top of the trailer. It would save a lot of uh, your time and your energy and your man hour. Or some special purpose trailer like this. As long as uh, this is a boat transporting as long as our client has a requirement, and we would build one. Uh, this one is what we have built for the New Zealand market. Uh, this one is what we have built for the Japan market. Or we can also build some special purpose container if our clients would 
required because the terminals have some special requirement uh, for the special purpose equipment sometimes. So the this one is the two ten foot ten feet containers joined together as a twenty foot for transporting. If you open it, it's like a, a small one in the bigger one and a smaller one in the small one and then one by one it looks like this. And also some uh, offshore containers like this is uh, quite uh, unique and you need to the welding uh, check the welding seam one by one so the price of the offshore containers is very high. And also some containers for the military terminals if uh, there's any needing. And also the reefer container if uh, there's any needing. Something like this, the storage containers in the terminals to do the storage. And also the container house, every terminal they need a temporary office or temporary room to do the small uh, paperwork job or just uh, somewhere to hide them from the cold or the sunshine. This is how how we pack them together to deliver them to the terminals. And something like a container for refueling, uh, because uh, some island they don't have the gas station, but the terminal requires a lot of uh, fuel. So they get they get an idea. Why don't they just uh, store the fuel from uh, from their uh, tanks? to the container yard, to the container terminal. So they can save a lot of the transportation to get the fuel from there. So they develop this type of uh, special container. Uh, that's uh, all the special equipment, uh, what we could uh, do in our factory, in our company. So if you have any interest in, please leave a message or a comment uh, for we can give you more detail if you need it. Thanks. I think uh, it is enough for today. Okay. Bye.